Hi okay, guys, just going to give you a quick rundown of the Egain throwing shoes. Now these are the shoes, if you buy a brand new Mpaka, uh, they're rebranded as Mpaka, but these are uh, the Egain throwing shoes are in the Mpaka boats. Now these are absolutely fantastic shoes. We've been selling them for about two years now, a bit over two years. And the feedback from uh, our customers has been super duper positive in terms of the quality, um, how well they last, um, all the stitching stays together, um, they're just durable and they seem to last a long time which is obviously really important when you're spending a lot of money on shoes and um, rowing clubs do and school programs do spend a lot of money on shoes and it's really important that you know you can buy cheaper shoes but you're probably better off in the long run buying shoes that will last a few years rather than buying shoes that only last a season. Um, now with these shoes a couple of key things about the quality is that they're um, handmade in Italy. Um, they're uh, made by a shoe company, um, so they're they're proper shoes in the sense that they're they're stitched. They're not just glued. They're not just you know different bits of fabric glued together. Um, and they're also pinned. You can see here. Um, you've got the pins. Um, there's another one under here it, um, for the the sole to attach to the upper. So there's gluing and pins. And that's one of the really important things about this shoe is that um, the sole, while it's flexible, so you can allow people to lift their heel in the boat, it's the, the way this is designed is it's laterally super stiff. So what that means is if you if um, the shoe is one of the shoes to control the rudder in the boat, it's not going to flex at all uh, laterally when you're turning, trying to turn the boat or control the, the rudder on the boat. Um, the really important thing about the sole is that it does flex really nicely and it, and it bends up easily and um, allows anyone that's got you know uh, less ankle flexibility to get their heel up higher um, so they can really get the um, length on the slide. Um, you can see here that this is a Felipe shoe plate and um, the, the standard hole pattern, the, the shoes are the standard hole pattern which is um, the you know, the same as in the most popular manufacturers. So that'll go on any um, shoe plate, including it's compatible with the BatLogic system. Uh, other things about the shoes, you've got the three straps. Um, the good thing about that is that, um, and the way the shoe's designed, is that the shoe will accommodate different widths of feet. So if you've got narrow feet, you can tighten the straps. If you've got broader feet, the shoes will adjust for, for different widths of feet, which is really important, obviously. And uh, the feedback from customers is on some of the other brands of shoe is that they just don't do that because the, the sole can come up and is moulded higher and it just doesn't accommodate different width feet. Um, there's a really high quality tongue inside the shoes and um, it's nicely padded on both sides as well. So it's got padding in it and it's nice and big. So what that means is when, you know, obviously we're not only driving on the, on the drive phase, we're not only pushing down on the shoe, but on the recovery phase, we're also um, trying to pull the boat back up underneath us. And um, the, the tongue is nice and comfortable to allow the top of the foot to be comfortable at all times. Another thing is the heel is well padded. You can see it's got really good padding, and it's also nice and high. Um, there's shoes in the past that have had really low heels, and people, and the heels either of the shoe either deteriorates or people's feet actually pop out of the heel. The good thing about these is they're really well padded so they're comfortable but um, they're and they're high but they're also designed as such that if when the heels are secured and you do release the shoes that the heel the foot can come out of the heel easily in the event of a capsize which is obviously really important. Um, just little features like uh, the quality of the you know you got the, the hooks here to put the heel ties on you got um, this strap so that when you're putting your heels in, you can um, you can pull back the heel and get you to slip your foot in nice and easily. There's, there's a lot of little things in terms of attention to detail, um, the quality of the inner soles as well. They're very high quality. Um, the, you know, really separate the shoes from the others, and I guess that's why you pay a little bit more. But it's just one of those things where if you um, if you pay a little bit more, you get a much higher quality shoe with really good quality materials that last a long time so that you've got a beautiful pair of shoes for years. The other thing is I personally use these shoes 
um, in my boat. I've tried every single shoe on the market and when we were looking to sell shoes, um, I looked around the whole world for any shoes, any price range, tried them all, got samples sent to me, and these were by far the most comfortable shoe and um, probably the best shoe in terms of compatibility with the BatLogic system and um, also um, just really a good feel in the way that they, they stabilise the foot when you're on the dry phase. Um, so the foot's not squirming or moving around. Uh, the other thing is that they're, the sizing, they're true to size. Some of um, our, the competitor brands of shoes just, they, they don't resemble normal standardised shoe sizing at all. Whereas if I'm, I'm a size 45 euro in normal shoes and in these I'm a size 45 euro, so they are accurate. Um, so yeah, just to finish off, look, probably the best shoe on the market um, not the cheapest by any means, but certainly the best quality, the most comfortable. And if you're spending a lot of time rowing or, and you've got a beautiful boat and you've spent a lot of money on that and you're looking for something connect, to connect you to the boat as well as possible, then I'd recommend um, the Against Rowing Shoe for sure.